just heading out for my uh, Sunday long run. Uh, I thought I'd do a, an update on how my training's gone in May. Um, this weekend is uh, back to back long runs. So yesterday I did 30k and today I'm heading out for 28k, just taking it super easy. Oh, but yeah, it's a good day for running today. 12 degrees, perfect. Cool. My volume of training has been really good this month, 460k, which is probably my highest amount of volume I've done in a month before. So yeah, really happy about that. So my last three training weeks have all been either 100k or 110 kilometers. So yeah, really, really solid training at the moment from a volume perspective. And despite the high volume of training, I've managed to maintain my speed sessions. So still getting one speed session, a one tempo session each week. Some of them have been really hard. Others have been a bit milder, sort of easy speed sessions, just where I'm feeling a bit under the weather. But yeah, I've been maintaining the, uh, the speed work. And in terms of long runs, I've done quite a few 30k runs and uh, last weekend I did a 35k so starting to really build up my uh, stamina that's probably where I'm feeling the strongest at the moment compared to when I was training for the South Downs Way 50 um, I'm feeling a lot more comfortable on these longer runs like today, like 28k I've just got 500ml of water and one gel and I'm pretty comfortable, it won't be an issue I did the same yesterday and it was fine. So in terms of where my fitness is at the moment, the Garmin seems to think my uh, VO2 max is around 55, 56. So kind of good, but not great. Um, yeah, nothing too much to complain about there. I also did a, a math test uh, a couple of days ago and uh, said my average pace and my math heart rate was 516 per kilometer so that's a, uh, a slight improvement since last month but not a massive one either admittedly I wasn't expecting much because I didn't feel 100% when I took the test when I did the test um, felt like I had a bit of a cold so I was kind of expecting my pace to be probably worse than it actually is one of the things I've really struggled with this month is the uh, is my heart rate, keeping my heart rate down when I'm doing math runs. So I'm trying to keep my heart rate below 150. And I don't know whether it's been the heat. So you know summer's obviously coming. It's getting a bit warmer. Or I don't know, from a fitness perspective, I'm just not quite there yet. Um, but there have been quite a few math runs where I've really struggled to keep my heart rate below like 160 which is ridiculous for like an easy paced run so yeah something to uh, to work on saying that in this run so far my heart rate has been really really low so yeah maybe things are starting to turn around again another thing that could have been a lot better this month is my diet I've definitely been overeating and eating the wrong kind of food this month. I weighed myself yesterday morning and because of my diet, it's not been great. I've put on a couple of kilos since last month. So that is gonna be the first thing that I need to change in the next month. So after this weekend, I'm gonna start eating a bit healthier and eating a bit more normal food quantities. Um, it's a bit ridiculous putting on weight when you're training 100K per week, but it happens. So the focus of my training now is really shifting to the long runs. I'm gonna start extending them out, but I'm also gonna start shortening my, my weekday runs just so I'm more recovered for the long runs at the weekend. Oh. 
one of the big challenges for the next month is going to be my moving house so me and my girlfriend are moving down to Winchester um, so it's going to be quite interesting trying to balance high volume training whilst doing the house move um, yeah I think it's just going to get a bit hectic so the week of the actual move is my is supposed to be my peak training week <laughs> so I'm not sure how that's going to go um, I might have to move my day off to a Saturday so that uh, when we're doing the actual move and then I'm just going to have to find the time for the other runs where I can it's probably going to mean a few early morning runs which I typically try to avoid when it's not the weekend but yeah we'll see how that goes I am really looking forward to this move though it's going to be so nice having access to beautiful trails like the South Downs Way just on my doorstep um, New Forest just around the corner yeah it's going to be really nice So yeah, focus for the next month, sort out my diet, maintain my training volume, focus on getting some really good long runs and hopefully the, uh, the Winchester move doesn't disrupt my training too much. Cool, well, thanks for watching. Cheers, bye.